Hey guys, it's May May, and today we're making a spring wreath using tulips and a grapevine wreath. Now these tulips I found at Walmart and they were on clearance. Check this out. They're regular 97 cents, but I got these on clearance for 50 cents. Is it on here? Okay, it says 75 cents on this tag, but when she was scanning them, they were coming at 50 cents. And I was like, that is awesome. So I bought every one I could find. They had a bucket full of them and I bought every one of them. <laughs> Now, the idea behind this wreath is to pack this grapevine wreath full of tulips all the way around because I want it to be so full. It's going to be easy, it's going to be quick, and I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. So you need a grapevine wreath, or any wreath will work actually. It doesn't have to be a grapevine wreath. I'm just using a grapevine wreath today. I'm going to use some of these twist ties. You probably saw I got these at an auction for like, I got 200 of them for two bucks or something like that, so I'm going to use twist ties. I'm also going to use a little bit of ribbon for the hanger on the wreath. I got my Tim Holtz shears to cut those twist ties loose and flowers. Now here's the deal. I'm not taking these off of the stems or anything. This is going to be super easy. I'm going to pull the price tags off and then we're going to start putting them onto our wreath form. Now this wreath form is one of the smaller ones. It's probably like 18 or 20 inches. And then these guys, when we get done, I'll tell you how many bushels I end up using on the wreath. So I've gone through and I've taken the price tag off of a whole bunch of these guys. And the first thing I'm going to do is push the leaves to the top. Instead of having any at the base where it's not really going to show, I want those leaves to be up at the top of the flowers. Normally you wouldn't do that in flower arranging, but the way we're going to lay them out, that's how we want them. The next thing I'm going to do is kind of shape this guy in a little curve to fit the wreath. And I'm going to tuck it into my grapevine wreath. Now, if you're not using a grapevine wreath, it's no big deal. You can just use... Um, the styrofoam or something and you can take your twist tie and wrap around the whole thing. I'm going to take my twist tie and stick it in just to secure my little um, floral pick down right here so it doesn't come out. Now you could hot glue. I'm not using hot glue because I'm one of those people who likes to take projects apart. Like this grapevine wreath, we can use it another time when maybe these flowers are not as fresh anymore. There we go, I had to get in there and cut that one. So there's our first bundle. And if you wanna spread them out a little bit, that's fine. Cause, but listen, I'm putting a bunch on here. So that's number one. Here's number two, slide those flowers up, just like this, do a little curve, find a spot to stick it in there. Now this time I want to line them up where those end, okay? So to get the most bang for your buck, don't overlap them, just let them meet. Does that make sense? Instead of like overlapping and overlapping, just let those flowers meet so there's no gap. And again, I'm gonna twist tie them into place. Don't worry about fluffing these and putting them around in perfect spot too much. This is a very country cottage kind of feeling wreath. So loose and flowy is good, that's what we're looking for. Now I'm gonna continue doing the exact same thing all the way around the wreath. Tucking that sprig in and zip tying it down until I have this wreath completely full of tulips. Before I go any further, I want to show you. If you only wanted to do half of the wreath and then maybe put a bow or something on this side, that would be beautiful too. So you don't have to do the whole wreath. You could stop at any point and have this beautiful tulip wreath. I'm going to keep going. At this point, I've used six sprigs of tulips to get to this point. So it looks like maybe 12 will fill this guy up. As I continue to connect these all the way around, I wanted to mention to you, this would be a beautiful springtime wedding wreath. You know, if you needed some flowers for a springtime wedding, this is the easiest thing to do. And really, if you can find these flowers like I did on a really good sale, you can make a bunch of these. And then imagine if you gave these to your guests or to special people that do work for you in the wedding afterwards as a gift, you're killing two birds with one stone, decoration and gifts. These are so easy, anybody could help you make them. If you don't have these zip ties like I have here, you can certainly use chenille stems. Now, as you can see, the tulips have filled up the entire wreath except for this portion right here. This is where our ribbon is gonna come into play. I've just got some burlap and white striped ribbon. I'm gonna stick this under the wreath and bring it up. And I'm just gonna tie a knot. You gotta bear with me for a second because I'm not tying a bow yet, just hold on. We're gonna tie a knot here. So I'm gonna cut myself a length of ribbon just like this. And then I'm just gonna overlap it and make a knot. Just a simple knot, it's not gonna matter. We're not gonna worry about what it looks like. It's just gonna be to make a circle. So now you see we have this knot tied. Now I'm gonna take the knot and tuck it inside. It's gonna lay right here so that my next group of flowers will cover that up. And this will become a hanger for the wreath. So now I'll just take another group of tulips 
gonna lift up this last, this first one we put in and tuck this down underneath. This knot is moving around a little bit, so I'm actually gonna take a zip tie and just secure it into place real quick, just by zip tying that knot there. So I wanna show you this. I'm actually gonna end up adding two um, extra contain our bushels of flowers here because this first one didn't quite cover up my gap and I want to make sure that's all covered up. So there you have it, a super easy spring wreath for your upcoming spring decor. How easy was that to do, right? All it is is bushels of flowers. Now this ended up being about 13 little bushels. So the bigger your tulips, the probably the less you'll need but super, super easy. Hey, if you guys recreate this wreath, I'd love to see it on our Facebook group, which is May May Made It, and so did I. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.